So what's up everybody and welcome to your next uh, C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be learning about live mouse input. Now uh, just like the keyboard uh, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple right but uh, you're still I'm still gonna have to show you how to do this right uh, and we're gonna be uh, just changing up a, a few things on on how we um, uh, on how we uh, how we do things so first of all we're just gonna be checking for um, first we're just gonna be checking for mouse button presses so uh, this is what we're going to uh, this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna make a boolean and we're gonna say update frame and we'll set it to true okay so we're gonna say that if update frame is true uh, so we'll say if update frame then we increase it else we'll set frame counter equal to zero okay um so and if you want to do this if you want to do this in one line if you really want to do this you could say frame counter is equal to uh update frame or you could put like update frame in here and then if update frame is, is true, then we can say frame counter is equal to a frame counter plus frame speed uh, times clock dot restart as seconds. And then else we'll set it to zero. Okay. Or yeah, so we'll, we'll set to zero like so. So like that, like so, we've just um, done it in one line. If you don't know about that, then uh, don't worry about it. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so now that we now that we got that set, uh, what we're gonna do with the mouse is we're gonna say we're gonna use uh, if sf mouse is button pressed. So just like the keyboard, it has a global or I mean a static function so with, within the static function it has uh, a few uh, variables a few enums we can use we use the left middle right uh, the extra button one extra button two right uh, so let's see like if we say if the left button is pressed then we're gonna set update frame equals to true else else if SF mouse is button pressed SF mouse button right update frame is equal to false now um oh so it would be better to do this with events but I'm just trying to show you some uh, just showing you live input and how we can use it uh, so um so update frame is equal to true oh sorry I said it said it's equal to frame counter plus this should be equal to frame speed sorry okay so we can see it's updating and we press the right mouse button it stops updating and we press the left mouse button it starts updating the frame again so that's how we can use uh, we can get live input from the button presses and so on and so forth uh, with that and you can do a bunch of th things with uh, live mouse button pressing. If you want them to like continuously press the left button, like the faster they press it, the stronger an attack. Or I don't know what you want to do, but if you want to do something like that, then you can always you can always do anything you want, right? And uh, so that's what we can do with the mouse button pressed. We can also get the position with mouse with the mouse and also set the position right but there is a big difference there is a global position and there is a local position so if we open up this window right if we have our mouse in the direct corner of this window that is at position zero zero in our local position which is the the window itself 
the global position is relative to our whole windows or our whole operating system. So say our windows positioned at the position 100, 100, then the global position of this will be 100, 100. Most likely we're going to be working with the local position, most likely, but for, for whatever reason, you may want to uh, know the global position. But what we're going to do now is uh, we're just going to get the uh, global position. So we're going to say, uh, let's see, uh, we're, we're going to make a, a vector to um, I and we're going to say uh, mouse position. And it's going to be equal to SF, sorry, SF mouse get position. So it is another static function. And uh, let, let me show you one thing quickly. So I'm just going to say get position. And what we're going to do is just, uh, I'm going to put X mouse position X Y mouse position dot Y okay and let's let's see so let me just get rid of this one right here and what we're gonna do is I'm just going to just get the mouse position as we can see even in this corner right here it says 291 so on and so forth right because that is getting the global position, so it's relative to the um, our actual operating system's position, right? So if we want to get the local position, we have to put in the window that we're using. So uh, the window we're referring to. So when we put window inside there, as you can see, when we put it here, we're getting the position zero zero. If we do like further off the screen, we get a negative position because it's to the left. Of the window and so on and so forth so that is uh, essentially how it works so the same thing goes for setting the position so if we want to make a call uh, if we say SF mouse set position then we can set a position and we can put SF vector 2 I and if we set it to say 100 100 that will set it to and we close it off like that that will set it to the global position but if we want to set it uh, to a position within the window we set it like so so it's relative to the window so just to show it to you uh, so if I set to 100 100 oh sorry and what I'm going to do quickly so I, I will be able to actually close the window is I'm going to say I'm just going to add in a case, case SF event key pressed, uh, if event dot key code equals SF keyboard escape. So you press escape, then I'm just going to close the window. Okay. So what this is doing, it's setting the mouse position at, at uh, 100, 100 based on the global position of the the screen. But when I put window, it's going to set to local position. I think you guys get the point, but to show you guys, so it sets it at this position right here. So uh, we've closed the game window. So um, those are, uh, that's basically it for the mouse. So what you can do if you want to. Uh, as a little assignment or side project, what you can do uh, is use this. Get it, we're gonna get get the mouse position using this, right? And if the mouse is to the right of the player, then you're gonna set source rect um, y equal to right, and you're gonna move the player towards the cursor. If it is above it, you're gonna set it to a source y equal to up and you're gonna move it towards the top of the screen. And basically you're doing this so the player can follow the cursor. So that's kind of like a mini assignment for you guys if you guys wanna do that just to get practice. Uh, but that is it for this tutorial. 
In the next tutorial, we're going we're gonna to be learning about joystick uh, live input. And sorry if you don't have a joystick, but it is still a good thing to learn. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye.